Hello Geeks, this is Tamatis and welcome to X-Plane 11. Yes, uh, we are starting and I am starting like uh, finally after so long, like uh, flying in this uh, wonderful marvelous like uh, flight simulator from Laminar Research and um, uh, we are here today, I'm going to go straight to the flight. Uh, we're here today in uh, Macedonia Airport in Thessaloniki in the northern part of Greece and uh, we're going to make a short hop uh, from here uh, let me just uh, go a bit around here so we're going to make a short hop from Macedonia Airport all the way south to Athens airport to Athens Eleftherios Venizelos airport uh, if you check here like we're pretty much uh, set up the guys here already like uh, to give us a final push so let's just jump into the cockpit and let's just see what is left uh, to be done and first of all let me turn the anti-collision light on to indicate that we are ready to start up soon here so yeah we are back in the cockpit and uh, pretty much the plane is almost ready to go we just have to run uh, through a few like uh, final procedures before the startup and um, uh, first of all what we are going to do is I'm going we're going to check uh, the plan and we're going to do it together so you know what is uh, happening and what uh, flight we're going to follow today so we're taking off from uh, Macedonia Airport runway 34 and um, we're gonna be heading initially north and uh, let me open here in the tab the charts for the uh, departure from uh, Thessaloniki uh, which should be somewhere right here so we're doing the today we're taking off uh, from Thessaloniki and we're doing the Thessaloniki 3 Alpha departure which is a fairly simple departure we will climb initially at 600 feet then we are going to turn left and intercept uh, here the from we're going to intercept the like uh, 328 radial inbound to the DME 14 from the Thessaloniki VOR so this like let's say virtual fix like uh, in the map and from there we're going to make one more left turn this time directly towards like uh, the Thessaloniki VOR and from there on we're going to continue on our like uh, flight usually the ATC is giving like um, a vector suite but we don't have ATC today we're flying offline of course and so we're just going to follow our flight plan so if I step more so you see we're starting at 600 feet then like uh, we're turning left to intercept uh, uh, the 14 DME distance uh, from Thessaloniki at the 328 radial again as we said and then turning left again towards the Thessaloniki V1 passing it above 6000 feet and then going towards our way which involves like leg paw then our top of climb and um, after the top of climb is the uh, Thessaloniki 30 uh, waypoint then the Amsiv Agisa Bamos above Skopelos then Sikfo Ropox and then we are going to enter through Ropox in the Ropox let me check here have it open as well we're going to enter the Ropox 1 Papa arrival in Athens which involves like Ropox and then going directly to Kia and from there on following like a procedure for our arrival which pretty much goes like uh, through Kia and then at uh, 27 miles like uh, west of Kia we're going to turn right towards the Delta 190 Tango waypoint then Delta 190 Kilo and then lining up for runway 03 right which is the planned runway for our arrival if we miss we're going to uh, go like distance 12 from the ILS and then like turn right above the Sierra Papa Alpha 
then to Alpha Tango Victor and hold over the Echo Golf November. And uh, pretty much that's it. So this is our route for today. Let me turn this to map here and be able to see. And let me turn this also to our airport chart for now. So pretty much that's it. This is uh, expected flight time is um, 50 minutes so it's a pretty short flight and of course I'm gonna cut like uh, parts in between so we will be doing together all the crucial parts so hopefully this will be even shorter for you and uh, uh, as we see we have planned uh, okay I see a mistake here we had uh, like 5.9 on board so we have a 5.9 uh, tons of fuel on board 2.6 is our reserves a cost index of 67 and the transition altitude here is at 6,000 feet. Pretty much that's the most important info for our flight. And if we check also our payload, uh, today we are carrying uh, 100. Let me check also my my uh, operational flight plan. Uh, let's check the weights. 164 passengers and uh, 2.5 tons of cargo and uh, yeah so this is pretty much it so let's go ahead and complete before the before we starting the pushback so we made all the route checking we have to compare the ground distance as well yep it is 266 miles and 260 on my operation flight plan so we're good we're a bit difference probably some minor differences but we're pretty much good landing fuel uh, I guess we are enough because if we go again here we're planned to land with 3.5 tons of fuel our reserves for like uh, uh, alternate destination which is Kalamata today is 1.5 tons and our final reserve is 1.1 in total 2.6 so we will be landing uh, with uh, more than one ton above the like uh, our reserves so we will be very good we'll have some time also for for a missed approach if needed our route is executed and complete then the instruments are all okay because i have checked them uh expected taxi route to runway yeah that's a good question actually but we can check to have it up here and we're going to 34 and uh, what we'll do probably is we're going to uh, let me zoom in we're going to taxi back here on delta then we're going to go through like and face like south so we're going to go through delta then we're going to turn right on charlie pass through the foxtrot six uh sorry we're going to turn right on charlie to foxtrot then left on alpha cross the runway 10 which is not used and from alpha we're going to go all the way down to 34 and from the alpha six point turn into the runway so that will be pretty much it or like taxi route for today we don't have atc but that will be the expected and the executed probably taxiway our initial climb altitude is 8000 points that's a clearance according to the departure procedure and uh, if everything is good during the climb we're going to go all the way up to two to flight level 230 which is our cruise altitude for this flight pretty low because the distance is very short and let's go we're in the before uh taxi check before we're on the before uh start checklist so let's go ahead and put the irs mode selectors are in nav mode this is checked and indicated correctly. The gear pins are removed. Light test is checked. Oxygen was tested. Ion damper is on. Correct. Uh, nav transfer and display switches are all normal and auto. You're good. Uh, fuel we are require like uh, we require 5.9 and we have 5.9 tons on board and the pumps are confirmed on the cabin tilt safety galley power is on emergency seat lights is on fasten seat belts is on hopefully yep fasten seat belts is on window heat is on air condition pressurization packs right now they should be the bleed should be here this should come here also because we don't need the ground power or the APU is running. 
So they are like the packs are on auto, the isolation valve is open and the APU bleed is on. But we're going to turn off the packs for startup later on. Instruments are cross-checked, auto brake is set to rejected takeoff, hydraulics are normal, they were checked, speed brake is down and detent. Parking brake is set, stop trim cutout switches are normal, real world fire warning is checked, radios and radars they are set, we have just set for now the 112.1 Thessaloniki VOR, just for reference and for road data backup. The rudder and Elliot trims are free and zero. We didn't make a pummeling announcement, but the PA we will do it probably during cruise, you know, the FMC and CDU and they're set. The N1 bug is set to V1 here, we can see set correctly and um, uh, sorry, the, sorry, the N1 bug is here, the 96.7, so it's the correct N1 for our takeoff and the V speeds are here, also the bugs are set automatically, stop trim is 6 6.25 units and if we come here is set to 6.25 units this is correct the EFP is in our play mode installed the phones are off uh, cockpit door is closed doors are closed passengers are seated so the before start checklist is complete box announcement okay let's say we made it the doors are closed and we have started the APU we are going to take off all of these like because we have completed everything here uh -huh. we are like our v2 for today is 146 and we are set here the 166 in the mcp uh, which will be the flap retraction speed to flap one and then to flap all the way up okay everything here is okay and let's we are we are off with our performance procedure and let's do the before pushback let's say checklist which is here their condition packs are coming off the pushback truck is waiting actually for us so the packs are coming off we hear them off the anti-collision light is on already and the transponder let's put a random number here like something like five three Two zero five three two zero. Okay, it will be our transporter for the day. So we'll just put them in the altitude off mode, and um, we're pretty much ready to push back. So we're going to go and take a final look outside. We see that we're ready to push back, and uh, we're going to remove the parking brake, and our friend is going to push us back. Starting push back. Okay, so we're ready to start engines. So we're pretty much set for it. All we have to do is go here in the start engine switch, so start like engine number two. N2 rotation for number two is increasing. When this reaches 25%, we're going to put the start lever to idle for engine number two and put in all the fuel so it can start the engine. So 25%, start to lever to idle. And we have N1 rotation and EGT rising. Let's set the weather radar here as well because we're not going to need. The terrain radar in the captain's like uh, CDU. Okay, the engine start switch is on auto and 20% and 1 400 uh, degrees uh, EGT 0.3 fuel flow and 60% and 2 engine 2 is stable and start engine number 1. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. 
Okay, so like engine number one is stable as well, so we're going that the engine start switches are coming to continuous for the takeoff and uh, we're going to go through or okay, disconnect the hand signals for the guy. We're going to wait for the hand signals for the guy here and then we're going to uh, set up for our like uh, default taxi. Time, have a safe flight. Yeah, let's wait for his hand signals here. Meanwhile, let's set the cabin light into takeoff and landing. So hand signals here, we see the bypass pin, so we can start our before taxi checklist, but let's go first here to see the procedure. Okay, the generators, yes, of course, the generators must come on. So now we have this power, we should turn off the APU, we should open the packs. The isolation valve should be to auto. This comes off and this goes to off. Prop heats are coming on. Okay, and then take a flap should be like uh, five, one, two, three. Okay, and let's make our like uh, flight control test. Let's open here the systems loader you so left and center and full forward and uh, sorry right and center and full forward full back and the rudders come now like left rudder right rudder like flat surfaces are free and correct the lower du goes to blank for the flight and let's do our before the taxi generators are on APU is off starch so it is to continuous anti-ice we don't need it the temperature outside is plus 29 degrees very hot air condition packs are auto and bleeds are on <coughs> I'm sorry and isolation valve is on auto the flaps are right now at 5 green light and indicated 5 stop trim is 6.25 units and is set start lever is idle both of them at the tent flight controls are checked and the recall button checked all good so the before taxi checklist is complete we're going to turn on our taxi light and we're ready to rock and roll So as we said, we're going to go now on, if I check uh, here, we're right on Delta and we're going to turn right, like right now, right on Charlie and then straight right on Foxtrot. So you see Foxtrot is on the right side here. Uh, clear left and clear right I guess so we're ready to go let's do a takeoff config warning check nothing is here so like we're properly configured configured for takeoff brakes check is also okay we're working we're going to turn all the way right here is very tricky intersection because you can very easily go straight onto the old used runway here not that it will be a problem now that this runway is not used but and i don't know how in reality they're using actually this runway but it would be better to be avoided you know so taxing all the way now Okay, and since uh, we're like right now, we're on Alpha and we're heading towards the end, the start of runway like uh, three, four. So like, uh, and we're number one for departure. So pretty much we can just go all the way and make the the before takeoff procedure. So we're going to wait for the lights. We're going to let the cabin know. That we're ready to go 
and uh, we have armed the L11 is ready for to engage your pilot. We're going to engage your pilot up over a thousand feet after flaps are retracted and um, pretty much here we're looking good. We have to put our transponder to TRA so ready for takeoff. I don't know if we miss anything from the before takeoff procedure. I guess we're good. The weather radar is on. on me the transporter is okay, and we're going to do our normal like before takeoff check. All switches here. So config is checked. We checked it before. Flaps are like uh, indicating five, and with green light, stop trim is to six point twenty five units set. Takeoff briefing. We briefed the approach. The uh, sorry, the departure. We're going to go and climb six hundred. Turn left to intercept the 328 right up. We're basically gonna follow our like the flight plan that's on our map, and we have set also the radial on our like uh, courses here, and keep climbing, you know, till we're like uh, till we are uh, what distance uh, 14 miles from Thessaloniki VOR, and then start uh, turning left. Of course, at some point before this turn, we're going to engage autopilot and monitor autopilot that is following this. Of course, and then we're out on our way. The transporters on TRA strobe lights are will come on and the tax lights on before the runway as soon as we're about to turn. And also, I'm gonna set the chrono ready for departure. So, before takeoff checklist is complete. Okay, so we're lined up in runway 34, so let's stop here and we're pretty much set for everything. We're gonna start the chrono and then we're gonna spool up the engines to 40% and one. See that they're stable, they look pretty stable, so toga and ready to go. Let's apply forward push in the stick till 80 knots. Take of thrust is set. Airspeed is alive. 89. Check. Rotate. Dating. Positive rate. Positive rate. Gear up. Follow the flight director now here. Let's back up the speed. 400. 400. Flaps one. And that's 600 feet. Here we are. We should start turning now. 1000. 1000. All looks good. Let's start. Bugging up a bit more and flaps up. Let's turn a bit more here. We are losing here the altitude. We should be climbing a bit more. And as soon as we align a bit here with this, let's try to align here and let's engage the autopilot. Yeah, the other pilot is going to turn a bit more left. So landing gear comes to off position. This comes to off as well. And our VNAV comes on. Let's see what the autopilot is doing. I don't want it to turn too much to the left. Right now we seem that we are pretty much on the assigned procedure. Yes, we are intercepting correctly the 328 radial for the assigned waypoint. Ok, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do the after takeoff checklist. Uh, so the air conditioning pressurization, uh, let's check it very fast. Like the cabin pressure difference is at 3000 rising with 500 feet That's per minute go. and we're good. And engine start switches are coming to auto. Okay, we're 1000 to go to this altitude. So let's go all the way up. Let's say we took the clearance from the ATC. So we're going all the way up to 230. Normally we would have to ask for this clearance. And let's see if we will take this. Yep, it starts going up. I just want to see the speed dropping a bit. Let me handle the speed manually. And then I'm gonna assign the VNAM. Now we're turning. Let's see the turn. Pretty impressive above the Saloniki. Say bye to the Saloniki. So we're, we're passing above 10,000 feet and the plane is catching up with me right now. So, like, let's turn off the lights, let's turn off the seat belts, like, attend button here. And uh, after takeoff checklist, the brake is off, the flaps so were like up and no lights just to complete this because I forgot to complete it. And the altimeter is set to standard. We are above the transition load, load and after takeoff checklist is complete. Did it say before takeoff checklist? the after takeoff checklist and let's go to the climb procedure here to check that everything is good ah uh, yes this was good sorry no I want the climb procedure sorry the pre-cruise procedure because we are above 10,000 feet so the pre-cruise procedure is like feel facing lights they're off so we have no fuel problems, left and right landing lights are off, left and right ramp internal flights are off, all the lights are off, APU is off, the logo light is off, the wing light is off. Coming pressure differential, it is within limits, it's at 5200 and rising, 400, sorry, 5400 and rising. Pressurizer so selector is at auto, we can see it here, APU bleed is off. Engine bleed air 1 and 2 is on, left and right going to back to auto, so let's to auto, left and right active pressure is working, let's see here the temperature in the cabin, it's pretty good. Recall works and the heading back we should be adjusting our track according to the track we have right now which is at 128. So what we're going to do very fast is going to set first of all some fixed rings around uh, like uh, runway 0 and 3 and other. So let's put here as a fixed runway 0 3. Okay. 0 3 right. And we're going to set like a fix at 4 miles. Yeah, of course it's in the It should be like 4 miles a circle, uh, distance radial. 10 and at three times our altitude which is 23,000 feet so it will be 69 miles as well to close the top of descent and we can see that this is here it's very close Athens is very close to us just 260 miles I guess and we're going to put also, we're going to start preparing already for the descent, you know, before the cruise. Hello again from the flight deck, your captain speaking. We've just reached our cruise altitude and the seatbelt sign is now off. Feel free to move around the cabin, but we do ask if you are in your seat that you do keep your seatbelt loosely fastened in case we do experience any unexpected turbulence. Otherwise, invite you to sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. Very well, so I'm gonna put like uh, uh, the like uh, I'm gonna prepare for the descent actually and put the forecast and some other stuff. And actually, actually, I see that the top of descent here is much later here than the 69 miles from the airport because we will have to pass up of the airport and then circle back. So, yes, I'm gonna slowly prepare and i'm gonna see you guys uh, just before the top of descent for the descent briefing and uh, the approach in in athens
Okay, guys. Uh, so we are at uh, about uh, 70 miles away from like our destination, which is the Athens Airport, and we're gonna start slowly preparing for our like uh, descent. Even though we're a bit further yet from our uh, top of descent, which is uh, we have another uh, 74 nautical miles till we reach it. Uh, but uh, another, let's say, oops, the, the lighting and the weather changed very suddenly <laughs> in the sim. So we have another, let's say, 11 minutes there, but we will start preparing slowly for it. So uh, I put I input like all the necessary information in the into the FMC and um, we're going to check now the charts, uh, the approach chart here, and see that uh, we have put the localizer frequency. We're not going to use any of the like uh, com frequency, the communication frequency here, because we don't have any any ATCs. We are offline, and uh, we're going to set the final approach course for the ILS to zero three two into uh, both sides. Here, so 032 for the final approach course. So we'll start preparing here as well. Let me set the heading back also to our like current heading. And uh, our decision altitude for this ILS is 471 feet. And if we check here. 471 feet for all the categories and the RVR of 550 according to the matter we have here the like uh, visibility right now is big it's uh, like avocate okay, not even like mentioned at it so we will be pretty good you know uh, the weather I guess is clear so 471 let's set it down here and this is a barrel altitude. It's not an AGL altitude. This would be measured would be measured with radio, but we are using the barrel. So 471 is said. Maybe just put it a tad bit higher. Let's say 475 to hear it a bit earlier. So in case we have no vi visual with the runway, like to go around before we pass through the the minima. And uh, we did the landing. I did the landing performance calculation. Like the runway in Athens is pretty big, so we're gonna land with like um, according to our weight, which will be around our landing weight will be around 62 tons. Like uh, we will need like uh, uh, like brakes, auto brakes of two, and we will be easily if we land correctly. <laughs> will be easily able to reach this like a high speed exit like uh, over here in the center of the runway which will be this will be in a distance of around let's say 2000 uh, 2000 meters so let's go back here to the approach to be ready and if you see the performance calculation here for landing this was calculated to the breaks to 2343 okay we might probably we might miss sorry we might miss this first one the first high speed exit but we can go also for the delta 9 here if we miss this one uh, we're not in let's say in a hurry today and we're gonna park somewhere here south of the airport this is the satellite terminal that Ryanair actually in reality usually uh, uses for it. Wow, very beautiful like uh, evening here above Athens. We're going to set also our altitude to the minimum safe altitude for the north part of the approach would be 7000 feet and we're going to decrease it as we're going further down and the uh, next part of the approach and just for our info the intercept altitude for the glide slope is 3200 feet so after we pass above the airport and the minimum safe altitude for that zone is low. We're gonna set it to the uh, glide slope intercept altitude. The courses are there, uh, the bugs are there. So, uh, calculating this and the 62 tons of uh, weight, we are going to need with flaps 30, landing with flaps 30, we're going to go for a V ref of 144 knots. This is also set here, so we have set this correctly. 
and that will be our approach speed and this is good and the other brakes are set and let's do a bit of descent checklist before we start descending so let's check the pressurization actually the difference right now it's at uh, 7600 feet cabin altitude is at 3000 feet I guess and uh, it's steady right now not climbing not descending but we expect it to descend and start descending when we will descend so the pressurization is good anti-ice is off because we didn't need it like the outside temperature right now it's plus five degrees we're flying pretty low and it's pretty warm here in Greece and the approach briefing and the fuel was discussed and the indicated airspeed and altitude bugs are checked and set so we are good to go on the descent checklist is complete so we are ready to descend the top of descent is over there but we prepared very fast so I think this everything here is okay we just need to we just miss the passenger announcement so we passed above Athens right now we're just flying above agnc and we are already we are already in our descent we just started it towards the airport it won't be a very long descent that's why we're doing it so late in the flight plan um and we're gonna slowly start heading towards the airport which is right behind us and expected actually expected touchdown time would be 650 uh, sorry 515 we're 533 so we're about of about like um, 26 26 minutes out so yeah everything is going well I guess and we're normally descending the aircraft is descending initially we were going to descend to 7,000 feet but since we passed this um, uh, level uh, the this like sector of the airport we can I think we can start descending to 3,500 also we can clear ourselves towards it as we're going through there to the next phase of the approach let me turn this off um, let us head to the next phase of the approach and let's set uh, autopilot here to 3500 and when we make the turn to 3200 which is actually let's go to 3200 not to forget it which is a class of intercept altitude we're pretty high right now so we will have the clearance uh, i believe we will be good the we also if you if you see here we have also intercepted the ILS so we are able to see it so we're we are going to arm the approach as soon as we see that uh, glide slope and the localizer are alive and in the meantime let's go to our checklist and let's go to our like uh, uh, second page of descent procedure let's set our like start switches to continuous we don't need and and anything else let's turn on our not yet we should pass first the 10,000 feet and then we're going to go on it. And since we're very close to the airport, I'm gonna take over the descent and tell him to go to 250. Let it be drag out as well. accelerate faster and go in a more like slow down in a more controlled manner not so fast as our like flight plan assigned the FMC assigned automatically to the flight plan okay let's reduce the drag now We're back to 55 let's reduce the drag and let keep the speed brake arm actually this is set, we're good. Okay, and we're going down slowly and nicely. We're gonna catch up with our flight plan here, you see. 
So we're all good for our approach to Athens. And we're like 10 minutes from the landing, so even with our whether we're above 10,000 feet, we're going to put the seatbelt sign on and the attend button to let the cabin crew know. So the cabin is being prepared. Everything here is checked. The standby altimeters are okay. It's over here, so I think they're set correctly to standard, but we're going to put it to 10.008 automatically anyway. Once we pass the transition altitude. We're 17 miles from the Kia VOR. And we do this nice and slow. Just to have the control and the monitoring of, the monitoring of everything. So we're approaching 10,000 feet, so let's go ahead and turn on the light, the landing lights, the runway, runoff lights as well. This is going to be set when we pass the transition altitude, everything else is set. And let's go for the approach checklist in the yoke. So the approach checklist is that the altitude and instruments are all set and cross-checked. And our approach aids are also checked and set. We have captured the, the ILS is working so we're good and approach checklist is complete so we're ready for our approach now as we are approaching Kia we're going to slow down a bit for the turn so I want to slow down to something like 220 for the turn here at Kia And even less just to put the flaps one. Just to make a slow control turn and help with it. And after the turn we're gonna let the cabin crew know that to prepare for landing. Set our little plane for like uh, landing and proceed all ahead. We are right here on it so we're going good we're doing very good autopilot is following exactly this this approach okay localizer I see it's uh, it's there okay it's locked and almost locked the glide slope is alive so once the localizer comes alive also we're going to arm the approach and then set up we're 22 miles out so we're gonna maintain this speed for a while we're going nice and slow. We have like some wind, 14 knots wind from the from 340. Uh, the meter so that uh, down the ground uh, it should be around 5 knots the wind, so not so much. But we will see. 5 knots from uh, 030, so it should be direct uh, light headwind. Okay, no, the localizer tries to arm but is not. Oh, we see there the wind is like pushing us a bit. And once we arm the approach, we're gonna set also our like uh, missed approach altitude, which is gonna be 4,000 feet. Okay, the localizer seems alive, so armed approach. Okay, VR is locked, the approach is locked. Let's arm the dual channel as well for the category 3 autoland. And let's set the like missed approach altitude to 4000 feet.
thousand to go. Check. Even though we're not caring so much about it because we're following now the approach. Should follow the approach. Now let's go with speed. Let's go. It's more like one seven five. See, we're a bit below the the glide slope here, so let's hold a bit. Let's hold altitude for now. Okay, let's hold this altitude. And let's try to maintain the heading as well. Till we find the glide slope, we are like at 12 miles out. Okay, so these are two continues. Let's do the engine. The, oh no, let's stop this here. Okay, let's arm the approach once more. Go here. I don't know why I have the problem here with the approach right now. Nevertheless, let's start flying manually. Or no, what is it doing? Okay, we're here. Let's do it manually. Eight miles out, we're going pretty slow, so let's do the before landing checklist. Engine start switches are on continuous recall, we're good. Speed brake lever, auto brakes are set, landing gear, we're gonna go, not yet. Landing gear, let's slow down a bit, let's go. Landing gear down and flaps 15. Go a bit to the left. VRF speed on 144. Have to catch this glide slope fast. Twenty five hundred. Check, we're a bit high, but we're going to correct this. Landing flaps to thirty. <laughs> Speed bags, okay. Taxi lights, we got let's say the clearance, and taxi lights are coming on. Let's give the attendance also the button. Let's do the prepare for landing. Fast down now. Oh, very fast, very fast. Okay. Almost saved it. Not a very stable approach, but we're good. And we're at 1000. We have a slight side wind right now, five knots. Approaching zero three right. Check. Five hundred. Five slow. 
check. They're a bit on the right. They're on the flight slope. Approaching Check. My plan here. Okay. The pilot is going off. 200. Minimums. Check. Landing. 100. Doing good. Check. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Okay. Throttle back. Hold it. Okay. And good. And reverses out. Speed breaks up. Okay, we missed this uh, speed exit as we predicted, but we're going for the next one. Check. Manual braking. Reverses in. Let's turn here. Good. Flaps up. Okay, not so good. Not a very steady approach. Unfortunately, I did something wrong there and I missed uh, the approach for some reason. I managed to correct it and fly this unconventional uh, thing just with the auto throttle, but let's not lose any more time and let's go. We're here in Athens, welcome to Athens, guys. So let's turn off our landing lights here. And yeah, let's turn off the weather radar. Now we're going to turn all the way left and go for the satellite terminal and do our after takeoff checklist after the turn. Okay, with the right turn, train address comes off the P dot heats is coming off. are coming back to auto APU will start now okay let's break a bit logo lights on the these are going to stay these drops are off so yeah, weather radar is off, terrain radar is off, left and right rallying lights are off, position lights are off, sorry, position lights are steady and the strobes are on. Transponder goes to altitude of here. And the after takeoff, after landing checklist that says complete. Turn off the flight directors here. Okay, so let's pick up the Alpha, what is this, Alpha 34, Alpha 24 or something, it's Alpha 34, so let's go here. I don't know, there will be someone to like, marshal me in the gate, I don't see anyone, probably we'll have to do it ourselves. Uh, it has this auto marshaler probably here. Let's turn off the lights here. Oh, oh, oh. And let's check. Will it tell me on to stop? Yep. It tells me on to stop. Come on, come on a bit more. And right here. Let's stop here. Set the parking brake. Okay, so let's turn on the APU generators. PU is on, everything is working correctly, and let's cut off the engines. Engines are cut off. Ok, 
Okay, so the engines are cut off and uh, we're turning off. No, the local we're gonna leave this, we're gonna leave the anti collision comes off. Then these, the pumps are going to come off. These are going to come off. And okay. These are coming to off. These are going to open. Ground partner power on the APU sets down. And this goes off. The heat comes off. And pretty much I think we're good to go. We're here in Athens. Welcome in Athens. I'm leaving you, that was it, actually the flight, that was it, and um, I'm leaving you in hot, warm and like uh, very clear skied Athens, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this sort of hop with uh, like uh, Rainer Boeing 737-800, and uh, I was so happy that I did this for the first time, and uh, for sure there will be more X-Plane 11 videos to follow short with even more flights and um, flying the 737, the Zebo 737 is very nice experience and a very teaching experience so for sure we'll do much more flights with it. So thank you for being here with me in another episode in everyday normal Greek in another X in the first X plane. 11 video of uh, in of my channel and um, if you like this video smash the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel to show your support and help me grow even more and hit the bell button take all the latest notifications of my activity on your home page and uh, I was everyday normal Greek you, we were joined together explain 11 and uh, the Zebo 737 and guys, stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye.